Balanced, moderate. In the area of beliefs, you find people saying there is no God. And thanks to Darwin. And this is, by the way, Christians, they complain about Islam taking away Christians. Actually, a lot of Christians are leaving Christianity to atheism. It's called Ilhad, no dinya. And thank you to the educational system. When you teach the kids that you are an ape, huh? and uh, mother nature and all that stuff. That's how you end up with atheists. So actually, the, uh, it's a religion now. Atheism is a religion. The Ilhad is a religion. And that terminology, separation between the church and the state, uh, it's not right now because you're really promoting atheism, which is a religion. In the other hand, you find people who worship the created, people who worship in cows, people who worship the sun, people who worship the tree, or people who worship a group of gods together. But look at the Islam, balanced, balanced in the middle. There is a God and he is one and only. No one is like him. Sharia, Mu'tadila. Messengers. Let's take Isa, for example, Prophet Isa. What did the Jews say about him? Liar. His mother got him out of adultery. Imagine this. That's why he spoke in the cradle. To protect the honor of his mother. Look at the other extreme. The other extreme. He's God. He's the son of God. He's one of three. Ya jama'at al-khir. Look at the sharia. Ya jama'at al-khir. Leave, leave us. He's a messenger from Allah. But he's not God. So, balance. Ma al-masih ibn Maryam illa rasool qad khalat min qablih al-rusul wa ummuhu siddiqa kana ya'qulan al-qaan. He's a messenger who came in a chain of messengers. Look at al-akhlaq. Character. You know, there are some people out there who are المثاليين. They want the human being to be what? An angel. يقول لك مثالي. أفلاطون وش عارف إيه that that stuff that 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 the ideal human. And there are the people who want the human to be what? Like an animal, fulfilling his desires regardless of any moral system. Islam in the middle tells you listen. We're human beings, we must strive to be good, but we're not perfect, we're going to fall into trouble, we're going to have shortcomings, and this is where there is repentance, there is istighfar, ah, middle, akhlaq. Ibadah, look, worship. Three individuals came to the house of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they asked about the manner of his worship, hadith Anas radiallahu anhu. One of them said, what? I'll pray tahajjud every single night. No sleep all night long. The other one said, what? I will fast every single day. The third one said, what? No woman. Like a monk. The Prophet said, no, that's not it. Moderate. Listen, I fast and I breakfast. I pray at night, I sleep at night. And I marry a woman. I make a family. And this is my deen, the moderate way. He saw one of his wives putting a robe in the masjid. Putting a robe in the masjid. So that when she gets tired, she would hold on the robe she, that she can pray. That is, take it out. Pray as much as you can. When you get tired, take rest. Akhlaq, mu'amalat, transactions. Look at the transactions. Transactions. You got capitalism. That's where we live, by the way. And you got what? Ishtirakiyya, communism. Look. Haqq al-fard wa haqq al-mujtama. 
communism says everything belongs to what? State. The denial of the individual property. And you got capitalism? Promotes that. Islam comes in them and say, listen, you have a right to your property. Even a woman in Islam has a right to her property. But when the right of the individual contradicts the right of the community, who takes precedence? The community. But individuals have given rights. Look at the issue of divorce in uh, divorce. Christians, by the way, they don't believe in divorce. If you marry your wife, if you marry a wife in Christianity, you know what? It's done. History. Yani the devoted Christians. Yeah. Taib Jews, they tell you what? If you divorce your wife, you can't take her back. If you tell her, I divorce you, خلاص. she's no longer your wife. Islam comes and says he can divorce her and he can take her back after the first two revocable divorces in the middle. Last day, and not the least, inshallah, this will continue next khutbah, inshallah. We come to the penal code, the criminal, the 80 verses. A lot of the hudud in Islam are mosaic. You know what mosaic means? From the Torah. The stoning is in the Torah. في صحيح البخاري look at the story because we had Jews living in Medina during the time of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم a man and a woman from the Jewish community committed adultery so they said let's go and ask the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم what he will do in a way they were testing him and in a way, they are trying to find a way out of stoning. Because also, the way that they used to do it, if noble from, the noble from the community would commit adultery, they would blacken their faces and they would put them on a donkey, facing their backs, and then they have them just tour around. If he's what? From the elite. This is his punishment. But he's from the, north, the public, stoning. And don't we read in the story of Jesus, Mary Magdalene, when they wanted to stone her? Huh? It's there, I mean, even if it is correct, the story. So they came to the Prophet وسلم, and they asked him, Ya Rasulullah, those two individuals committed adultery, what are you going to do? He said, I will implement the Torah. Bring the Torah and read it to me. But they brought the Torah, who was sitting next to him, the first Jewish rabbi who accepted Islam, whose name is Abdullah ibn Salam. <coughs> so the person read the Torah and he placed his finger on the part that says, stone them to death. And he said, it's flogging. Abdullah ibn Salam whispered to the Prophet ﷺ, he is lying, Ya Rasulullah, ask him to remove his finger. Ask him to remove his finger. And it was there. But overall, brothers and sisters in Islam, once it comes to the penal code of Islam, the penal system, the criminal punishments, cutting hands, stoning to death, we live in America. We abide by the laws of the land. We cannot implement this. Again, I repeat, all the commands, those 80 verses, talking about the criminal punishments, talking about the penal system, the penal code in Islam, who is being addressed by it? Those who are in authority. The Congress of the United States, the House of Representatives. If they choose to implement this, we're going to say thank you to them. If they do not choose to, we have to abide by the laws of the land. So dear Mr. Gingrich, we love our Sharia. Ah. We adore it. It's one of a kind. We love it. And we're here to share this with you.
I'm a Muslim, that's what makes me happy and that's the truth but Because I'm happy Because I have the noble Quran and that's where I get my rights Because I'm happy